Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome to Tram Simulator Urban Transit, a game by the people uh, who have brought us such fantastic content as Bus Simulator 21 and Bus Simulator 18. Now this is a uh, sort of, I'd call it an add-on, but it's a completely separate game uh, to Bus Simulator 21. It's going to be set in Angel Shores, however this time it's solely focused on trams. So yeah, let's jump into it and see what happens. Uh, I have started a company. Oh no, I haven't. I've, uh, I've not done that yet. Uh, but of course you can see you've got me at the top there. It looks very familiar uh, to Bus Simulator 21. Now what we are going to do is I'm going to have a look and see uh, for the driving if we have... Have we got controller functionality? That would be brilliant. Uh, general control... You see that's, that's probably audiovisual controls. Yeah. Uh, right. Driving. Accelerate vehicle. I, I want that is, is that can we can we add a that is, has that done it I don't know right remove binding yeah remove binding add new that no okay right we'll, we'll just go for the we'll go for the W right so what do we do we got W and S uh, switch right is D, switch left is A. Okay, so this looks a lot more sort of promising uh, than... Uh, let's have a look. Is the doors, is that... Right, one and two. Okay, so we'll go with... Yeah, we'll go with two for the uh, the opening and closing all the doors. Ramp G, fairly similar. Uh, right, okie dokie, let's, let's crack on then. Uh, actually, first what I want to do is make sure that the... Uh, oh, hang on, what, what's, what's this? Right, settings, drive physics, realistic. Yeah, mouse steering off, curse view. Yeah. That'll, that'll do, uh, yeah, okay, fantastic, right, yeah, looking good, user interface, right, general settings, we've got all that good, I realise this is quite boring, but we want it to look good, don't we, audio and visuals, let's, uh, let's make sure that everything is looking fantastic, all very high, excellent, right, okay, let's jump into it, $16.99 this game's going to cost you, we're going to be in Angel Shores, we can live the American dream, build your empire from one tram up to everyone's first choice of transport. Be it the entrepreneurs of Pecunia, the industrialists of the Auris Harbour and Timberidge, or families on their way to Arnold Park, everyone must get somewhere. Right, we want to be, uh, what's this? Uh, forgiving, tame the tram realistic and unforgiving. Right, okay, let's go with that. Yep, uh, company name will be Joe Ahead uh, Rail Division. Game mode, story, or sandbox, or career. Right, hang on, what, what's the uh, player leading role, everyone home time, missions, unlockable content, limited money. What's what's career, all vehicles. Ah, right, okay, no, we'll go with story. We'll, we'll play the story. Accept this company setup. let's go, go, go. That is a hideous ugly tram on the right, isn't it? Right, here we go, let's see what this has to offer. Budget's on track, but we need more funding to connect the entire city with tram. Oh, why is he whispering? There. It's a pleasure to meet oh. you. I'm Tony Stevenson, head of the Angel Shores Tram Project. I apologize for not being able to meet you face to face. I'm out of town right now. Of course you are. Everyone I've asked speaks highly of you. So let's see if you can help us make Angel Shores even better. Our goal is ambitious. We're looking to switch all public transport to trams. A massive undertaking. That's where capable supporters like you come in. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's start small. I've got an idea to kick things off. In San Anthony, all the major city infrastructure is concentrated in one spot. To make life smoother for our residents, we need to connect these crucial buildings with tram lines. Step one, plan the exact route, which takes some preparation. Right, okay, so obviously uh, it is exactly the same. I wonder if there's tram lines on every single road on the map, otherwise it's sort of a bit pointless having every single road, but it uh, does look like it, doesn't it, from where all the, uh, all the stops are. So we need to create the route. Hang on, how do we do this? Create route. Yeah, it's almost exactly the same. Uh, right, so South Regatta, yeah, to St. Anthony Church, which is there, yeah. Oh, hang on. Oh, it's, it's literally doing it for me. Right, there we go. Into the transit terminal. And then off to Lincoln Street. I mean, that that's a ridiculous route. That that's stupid. Right, okay, okay, yeah, whatever. I've already we'll, purchased we'll do a tram that. To kick start our project. Just such an odd one will do for now. Sort of figure of eight. We'll need more soon. And I've got it all set for our maiden voyage. So enjoy the ride. Right. Oh we've we've got right, okay, so we've got the TO one. We've seen this before. This is from Bus Simulator twenty one. Uh right, here we go. Ah that scent of leather, metal, Hell. oil. It brings back memories of my dad taking me on a new tram for the first time. Unforgettable nostalgic moments. 
Perhaps you've heard of him? Oh, hang on. Right. Mr. Stevenson Sr. Oh, well. Let's get started. Well, it turns out when we press Drive G... Drive to the first stop and see if our passengers are ready. Because obviously the... Uh, I mean, we're at the first stop now. They're all here. It seems that when we press G, rather than focusing on the uh, on the ramp, it gives us a lovely underside view of our tram with some grass. Okay. I mean, you can just sort of see here that holding G, the ramp is coming out. Or is it? There we go. There it is. Oh, it's gone naturally. Oh, hang on, where's it gone? It's gone all the way down there. This is ridiculous. It's nice to see the uh, the, ex the, the the quality. Why are they all in the road? Oh, God. Yeah, you see, I, I was looking at the reviews. I mean, this was sent to me free of charge by uh, the, the people at Astragon. Are the still new alive. tram seems to be a real hit. And for now, just and I'm sort of glad they did. Good care of the passengers and the tram. I mean, it, it seems like the driving the is a little bit better. We can right, tackle on, other we? matters down the line. I thought to accelerate it was W. Do I need to take the, the brake off? Is the some, I mean, you saw me press W. Capital W, is it? No. The, oh, right, I haven't put the ramp back, that's why. Yeah, sorry, I didn't see the ramp. There we go. Right, off we go. Yeah, it was sent to me free of charge. And I really am glad that they did send me it free of charge, because it's, it's... Well, let me just say, I mean, the reviews are mixed, obviously, online. We've seen that. It's everything that Bus Simulator 21 is. <laughs> and you take from that uh, what, I mean, it's chock full of bugs. The reviews, I saw that on uh, Steam just before I started playing this. I didn't want it to influence uh, my mind too much. I mean, to be fair, it's a little bit easier to drive. The sounds seem better uh, than Bus Simulator 21. And of course, we're using A and D to change the left and right of the, uh, of the junctions, which is a lot easier as well. Right, hang on, so we're gonna, we're gonna stop here. It is better. I tried to get my. Uh, I wanted to get the, the Thrustmaster doodah linked up to it. Danced my heart out at the rave yesterday. I'm still a wreck. Oh, hang on. Oh, the, right, the wheelchair user wishes to disembark the service. Right, okay. Oh, we can put the ramp out while the doors are open. That's easy. And, and obviously into the centre of the earth. Right, there we go. Boing. Right, there we go, right. Off we go. Yeah, let's, let's, right, is the ramp away? Everything's away, off we go. So we can, A and D does the left and right. That's, that does make a lot of sense, actually. Oh, it does that thing where it slows us down when we go around a corner. Yeah, I mean, I'm very grateful that they sent this free of charge. Like I say, it's you know, it's nice when developers do that. Um, I mean, if if you're really, really into your trams, I can see why you'd probably like this game, or maybe you wouldn't. I mean, I'm into my buses, and I don't really care for Bus Simulator 21. It's it's been described in the uh, in the comments uh, in the review section as a quick cash grab by Still Alive Studios. Admittedly, I would have liked if they're bringing out a game like this different map. I mean, they say that you've got six trams available. From what I've seen, there's only three. The sound is much better live you know, there's, there's longer and shorter versions. So there's three types of tram, and then you get longer and shorter versions of that tram. You know what I mean? So it, it, they describe it as six drivable trams. Realistically, it's not. You know, I, I wouldn't say it was, but oh, hang on, right, straight on. Oh, hang on, slow down. It can go a lot quicker. I mean, it's nice with this marbles conversation going on in the background. They use exactly the same dialogue as Bustin' Letter 21. You know, it does just feel kind of lazy. You know, we've paid for this expansion already for Bus Simulator 21, so, it, you know, it's almost like selling the same thing twice. It's, it's very, very odd. Oh, right, hang on. A Q&E, &E, that's how we do the indicators. Right, excellent. Hello? Yeah, it's James. So, is the deal still on? You see, it's got a different, oh, different sounds. Right. See you there. I mean, it uses the uh, the Citaro indicator sounds. Right, we'll go left into here. And then forwards, yeah, are we, is this okay? D and E, right, okay. That's in the middle there. There we go. We'll uh, we'll have 
Oh, hang on, how do we? Oh, so F3, you can do different, different sort of... Ah, different views, funky. Right, there we go, we'll have, uh, we'll have a screenshot of our special trip. Right, off we go. Come on, off we go, full steam ahead. Oh, it's, it's a bit juddery, isn't it? Right, okay. And I'm sure that this will attract criticism from viewers, uh, or from some viewers. Well, if you don't like it, Joe, why do you play it? Well, because, of course, we've got missions to do, haven't we, now? And, and I can't leave a game unfinished. I, I really can't. I'm, I've got that sort of... It's not OCD, I wouldn't have said, but I, I really do like to, to finish a game if we've got missions to be done. I'm hoping that the missions will be a little bit more inventive than just get three paydays on each route. You know, that, that would be a bit of a disappointment. I'm completely expecting it. I'm not going to lie to you people. I'm expecting it to be a very lazy sort of mission set up, much like Bus Simulator 21, Tram Edition. But no, so far this is, you know, it's easier to drive than Bus Simulator. You know, I'm not, I'm not um, driving it with a steering wheel, for example, and pedals, which is what Bus Simulator 21 sort of encourages you to do. I know you can drive it with the, with the buttons here, but this is easier. Yeah, a bit of uh, bit of indication into Lincoln Street, right? It's, oh, last stop, please leave the tram. It's a bit of a terrible stop. We went whizzing past. Perfect halting. Oh, not perfect stop, just perfect halting. There we go. Right, so we've done that. That first ride was a success, just like Sam promised. I think we're going to make a formidable team. The transit terminal is set to benefit big time from this new route. It looks like it's on track to become the hub that Angel Shores truly deserves. Right, let's, uh, right, hang on. Oh, we got four and a half stars, 85%, well, 84% efficiency. Uh, right, open the map menu. I want to just take a picture of the tram here. You know, if, if it's all okay with yourself. Right, get that, get that door open. There we go, right. That'll do. Right. Okie dokie. So, we're on the tram. Take the A train. So, upgrade the transit terminal D and E stop to level 3. There we go. That's done. Easy it's peasy. It's crucial to level up the stops so we can easily link up with other routes. Over time, this will help the whole district grow and prosper. You know the drill. Better stops mean a better district. You know, when I first took on Mirror and Trish's project to connect all of Angel Shores with trams, I'll admit, I had my doubts. But investing in decarbonizing transportation is like hitting the high note in a rock ballard. It'll is put it Angel right? Shores okay, in position then. on a global scale. Also, good news on the tram front. The city has given the green light to expand the tramway across the bay. Now, the highway rails may take a bit longer to build, but the rest of the network is primed and ready. We've even got our tram hub up and running in Sunkiss, and are working on more tram stops, as long as our budget allows. Let's head over to the hub and snag another tram. Right, okay, so I mean, we've expanded over the water already. That took a hell of a lot longer on Bus Simulator 21, didn't it? Uh, yeah, it, it, yeah, right, okay, so we're building a new tram uh, at this, uh, buy a new, uh, a new tram at the Sunkiss Tram Hub. Does it have to be at the Sunkiss Tram Hub? Is that that, that thing on the corner? Is that, that'll be that, won't it? Yeah. Um, it's nice that they put the bridge on the map, which they never bothered to do on Bus Simulator 21, uh, so I obviously wasn't aware of it. Right, so we'll go over to the Sunkiss Tram Hub. Where do we buy it from here? It's nice to see it's identical, absolutely identical. Activate the terminal, and let's get that beauty right, so on board. so what can we buy? Our uh, budget so... got a boost, courtesy of Ted Kane from the local government. So expanding our fleet is a piece of cake. Right, okay, I don't know why it's so blurry. I mean, if we look at the Adox tram, those are the two, the TL01, the, T, uh, the TO1 and the TO2. Obviously, that's the same tram ever so slightly longer. It hasn't even got more carriages or more sections. It's just different. You'd have thought it'd have, like, five or six sections. SG, STG, even, these are our heritage trams by the look of things. See, again, identical, apart from the headlights are slightly different that's got a, you know, it's the, the windscreen, it's literally the same tram. There's a few minor cosmetic differences, uh, as you can see, but I would say they were identical. Same again, uh, that has sort of narrow lights at the front, and that has circular lights a bit longer. Again, 
it, it's the same tram. It literally is. You can see that. So yeah, three trams to drive rather than the promised six. Um, what are we buying? We need a new tram. Okay, so what tram can we buy? Well, I really did want to buy a tram that we haven't already got, but let's go for a... We'll go for a, a two cities... Hang on, how much money have we got? Right, I don't want to blow it all, so we'll go for the cheaper one. Speaking of Ted, he's been working on some advertising magic for us. Oh, don't tell me we the exact same character's going to come back. By displaying ads on our trams. Let's seize this opportunity and choose a partner to showcase their ads on all of our trams. And hey, while we're at it, how about we give our trams a fresh coat of paint? The grey is a bit dull, don't you think? Please don't tell me. Oh, wow, so I can actually, I can use all the colours. That's good. Right, well, I'm going to go for a yellow. Hmm. There we go. That's good. And actually, the wraps seem to, oh, no, they don't. I was going to say it seems to work, but it, it sort of doesn't, does it? Take the tram, save a tree. Right, I mean, that's, yeah, okay. Right, we'll apply the changes. We're going to go for the yellow. This will definitely amp up our visual appeal. Really make our trams stand out. I mean, I've just come back from Berlin, now, so... I've got a brilliant idea for where to great. kick off our new advertising campaign. I believe the beautiful neighborhoods of Sunkiss and Valley Spring have untapped potential. They're filled with fantastic pubs and restaurants. Perfect for night owls. By creating a line there, we'll boost the economy and elevate the entire area. Trust me on this. I mean, we've even got the exact same interiors, haven't we? I mean, I use that on a few of the buses. Yeah, for goodness sake. I mean, what else have we got? Have we got the Halloween... Yeah, we've got the Halloween pumpkins as well. <laughs> it's, it's literally the same game. It, 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 you can't describe it as anything other than a cash grab. It's the same, the exact same game. You're paying sixteen ninety nine for two additional trams. Okay, the, the missions might be slightly different, but... Just, I can't recommend this to you. I mean, if, if you really like, sort of love it, if it's on sale, yeah, go for it. it it's just not $16.99. It is. To describe it as a con wouldn't be too far from the truth. Right, what are we having to do now? Okay, so, Sunkiss to Valley Spring, peaks at night, one payday with a green city ad on your tram. Right, okay, so we need a new route. Needs to peak at night. Oh, here we go. Yep. Yep, much like the last game, tram stops have certain peak time associated with them to create a route that's most profitable. Your route should have a majority of tram stops that have nightly peak times. Okay, so obviously these ones with the moon. Now, we obviously need to... I mean, it doesn't seem to matter about a balance route, so we'll we'll go... Right, hang on. Have I already got... What? What's... Where's it bringing me from? Right, I don't want that. Have I accidentally clicked that? Sunkiss and Valley Spring. Well, this is easy. It'd be quite nice if you could see the, the track. So you could plan it a bit better. So these are our moon stops. Lovely. Can we, can we make it a ping pong route? Change route type. Ping pong route. Can we... Right, that is going to work, actually, isn't it? Uh, hang on, no. Right, if we... Ah, right, so if we do that... And then naturally we can't get to there, can we? Without going round and, and sort of down there. It's a bit of an odd one, isn't it, that? But what if I did that? Yeah, you see, again, it's not really going to work. We'll, we'll go with it. We'll go with it for now. Right, apply that, and uh, and we'll drive that with the with the other tram. There we go. Right, off we go. Full steam ahead. Open the map menu. Transport thirty passengers on the line at night between nineteen hundred and twenty four hundred o'clock. Right. Okay. So we need to change the time to nineteen hundred. Apply. Right, off we go. Oh, raining. Not raining. Excellent. Right, okay. One pair day with the green city add-on on your trams. Excellent. Off we go. Obviously we'll be going left here, so we'll, uh, we'll pop the indicator on. 
wonder if the right on right on red rule still applies. So we've even got all the same AI cars. They've not put any new AI cars in by the look of things. It's, you know, not even any new colours. Oh, hang on, I've gone the wrong way already, for goodness sake. Right. How do we do this now? Because obviously the tram is forbidden to reverse, according to this game. Right, hang on, no, keep going. Right, off we go. How on earth are we going to get round the other way now? Hopefully we'll be able to manage it somehow. Oh, hang on. Break, break, break for the corner. Oh, hang on. Yeah, it's done that where it slows you right down. Right, up we go. Oh, hang on. We're not going to make it up the hill. This isn't like Bus Simulator 21. It's actually got some physics on it. Wow. I'm sure we used to be able to turn right at the top there, didn't we? Right, we'll go down here because we haven't been down here before, have we? Right, off we go. Wow, these things are nippy. 50 mile an hour. Oh my lord, are we going to come off? No, of course not. Don't be ridiculous, Joe. Come on. Round we go. Round to the left. It doesn't seem to penalise us for going around corners too fast either. Look at that. Right, round there. Yeah, and round to the right. Lovely. Round to the left. Oh, hang on. Car. Yeah, that is a problem. We've got, uh, luckily, he's not too bothered. Look, he's driven off. Right, okay, we're going to drive more sensibly now. Yeah, we will do, I promise you. Just showing, though, that there's absolutely no physics. There's no chance of derailing the tram in the slightest. Oh, hang on. Oh, that's a red light, but we are not stopping. Luckily, it just changed to green. <laughs> Jumped to red light. I did nothing of the sort. It was green. You all saw it was green. <laughs> We've just hit that car in front. <laughs> oh dear. Right, off we go. Blinking right at the tram stop. There we go. Turns out it's not like the buses where you can open... I, I don't know why we get the hustle alarm when we stop and open the doors. It's very odd. There we go. That makes sense. Why does it Why does it beep when we open the doors? Very odd indeed. Look, at last we have a bus route. Yep, nice, nice there. Nice bit of uh, recycling sounds. It's a tram, love, not a bus. Next stop, right, going left again here. Thank you, we're just going to push our way in front of this car. Getting points for the correct use of the indicator there. Well, of course. Hang on, right, round, slow down for round the corner, lovely. Don't seem to tell you off for going round corners too fast now. Right, round to the left again. I mean, we're obviously going to get some good points this time round, aren't we? Because, uh, what we'll do. We'll have another picture there. Yeah, not quick up hills, this thing, is it? Good lord. Make sure we're going the right way. Yeah, we're going straight forward. Lovely. I think we're going to get a payday this time, aren't we? Right, hang on. There we 
we go. Right, stop, stop, stop. G to bob the ramp out. Oh, wow, it's actually... It just goes straight out on this particular tram. There we go. Doesn't go through the yellow markings and into the road. But it is just floating in the air, so, you know, how our wheelchair user is going to get to it, I have absolutely no idea. Oh, we've made £159,000. Wow. Although this does seem a little bit more accurate. The last one just sort of added things on that it wanted you to do, didn't it? Right, there we go. So we've got the payday. We've not done the 30 passengers yet, so we'll... Uh, passengers listening to loud music. So I'm meant to... Right, turn it down. I didn't notice. Oh, we can do ticket checks. Excellent. Come on, tickets out, everybody. Oh, sorry, I've sat opposite you, my love. Ticket. Oh, that's what she... Ticket, yeah. Come on, all of you. The actual click spots for the asking to see the tickets is fairly decent. Oh, we, uh, yeah, we caught a ticket dodger, fair dodger. Right, back in the tram. Door shut, wheelchair ramp away. Off we go. Oh my lord, there's about to be a crash. Does he lose some points for stealing the right of way of a tram? The bus driver, tram driver dear. Oh dear, it appears uh, that they've, yeah, again, used uh, recycled sounds again. I really want to have a cat. Oh, I think my friend's cat had kittens. Maybe it's a sign. Honestly, people, if, if I were you and I'm going to get accused of being negative, as I say, but save your money, don't bother. This is £16.99 that you just do not need to spend. I still stand by what I say, the uh, the tram simulators such as Vienna and Munich are so much better. I mean, I know that when we looked at Munich it wasn't perfect. It is a damn sight better now than what it was. Originally, now that they've sorted out the bugs. But yeah, for goodness sake, if you want a tram simulator, go and do that. Stay well clear. I mean, we're going to continue to play this. Look, I mean, look at that, that's ridiculous. Oh dear. I mean, I, actually, do you know what? I'm really surprised that, I mean, that would have smashed the tram in bits. But the, the actual sort of rubber bits between the carriages did actually bend. I was not expecting that. Let's have a look when we go around this corner, is it gonna I mean the wheels aren't on the tram line, you can you can just see that there. The you know, perhaps I'm just being a bit picky, but the rubber does actually bend between the carriages, so you know. Can't have everything, but So I think this is going to be our thing every Tuesday. Uh, every Tuesday? No, that's uh, that's City Bus Manager, and I'm certainly not replacing that with this. Um, yeah, every Sunday, I reckon. Come on, stop. You're on full brakes. Why are you not stopping? Good Lord. Right, the, uh, the, the chap in the wheelchair is not getting off, so that's fine. We don't need the ramp. Don't close the door until they've reached you. Is this tram? Uh, right, ignore them. I'm sorry, I'm not here for customer service. Oh, we don't have a ticket machine. So we don't need to bother selling tickets on that. That's uh, that's one decent thing. <coughs> no, we'll just ignore the question. We're not here for customer service, like I say. We're, <coughs> we're here to drive the tram. Oh, hang on. It's, it's Yep, yeah, there we go. Right, round the corner. I can't believe they're still using the Spring of Affection thing as well. You'd think, I mean, obviously we had Winter of Passion, didn't we? Uh, we had Winter of Passion, then Spring of Affection for Bus Simulator 21. You'd think they'd have, like, Goodbye. Summer of Lust or something, wouldn't you? You know, they'd have come up with a new one, but no, it is exactly the same. It's, it is a shame, because, again, it's what I always say about Bus Simulator 21. It has the potential to be really good, and its I don't know if it's laziness, I don't know if it's incompetence from the developers, I don't know what it is. It's... But it's definitely something. Um, yeah, it just... It, it is such a shame because it could be really good. I'm hoping that they're going to fix some of the bugs, such as the wheelchair ramp and the people falling into the road, you know, like with them standing and their feet getting covered in tarmac. I'm really hoping they will. Do I think they will? Probably not, realistically. 
don't get me wrong, this has got a load of nice features, but is it enough for me to recommend it? Sadly not. Sadly not. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think in the, uh, in the comments section below. Is this uh, a revolutionary new tram simulator in your opinion? Uh, like I say, you've heard mine. But if you have enjoyed the video, regardless of what you think to the game, if you've enjoyed the video, please do click the like button. It's uh, it's always appreciated by myself. And, uh, of course, if you haven't already, do consider subscribing so that you never miss out on any Bus Simulator 21 or, indeed, Tram Simulator Urban Transit. We are going to complete all the missions on this, regardless of, uh, of what the standard of game is like. So, uh, yeah, we will be coming back to this. Like I say, I'll aim to get this out every Sunday. But, uh, yeah, other than that, thanks so much for watching. And hopefully, I'll, uh, I'll see you all next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now.